Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number one. For this question we need to find how many grey squares are in pattern number 100. So what we're going to do is write down how many grey squares there are in the patterns that we can see. So in pattern 1 there's one grey square, in pattern 2 if you count them up there are 17, and in pattern 3 if you count all of those you'll get 49. Now it might be useful to do pattern 4 as well and if you draw that out and count them up you'll find there are 97. We now need to try and find the nth term of this sequence. So let's look at the differences. From 1 to 17 is plus 16, 17 to 49 is plus 32, and 49 to 97 is plus 48. So it's not a linear sequence. Now let's check the second difference, which is the difference of those differences. So from 16 to 32 is plus 16, and 32 to 48 is also plus 16. Since this term is constant, we have a quadratic sequence. What we need to do is half this number, so half of 16, which is 8, and that tells us the coefficient of n squared will be 8. So it's an 8n squared sequence. 8n squared just means do 8 times the square numbers. So if we take some square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on, and then just multiply those by 8. 1 times 8 is 8, 4 times 8 is 32, 9 times 8 is 72, and 16 times 8 is 128. So this is what 8n squared is. What we do now is we take our sequence and subtract 8n squared from it. If we do these subtractions, you do 1 take away 8, which is negative 7, 17 take away 32, which is negative 15, 49 take 72, which is negative 23, and finally 97 take 128, which is negative 31. The numbers in black here form a linear sequence. You can find the nth term of that quite easily. It goes down by 8 each time, so it's minus 8n, but we need to start at negative 7, so it's negative 8n plus 1. If you now combine the quadratic part, which was 8n squared, with this linear part, negative 8n plus 1, you find the nth term of the sequence. Now remember in the question they asked us for how many grey squares there will be in pattern 100. So all we need to do is change n for 100. So we've got 8 lots of 100 squared, minus 8 lots of 100, plus 1. 100 squared is 10,000, so times that by 8, that's 80,000. 8 times 100 is 800, and then plus 1. And if you do this, you'll get 79,201, which is the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found that solution useful. Check out the video I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.